Hey guys, so a number of you have talked to me about doing crucible guides, specifically trials and rumble. So I'm going to put together a crucible playlist for guides and tips on how to get better in general. To start it off, I have some trials gameplay that I'd like to show you, give you some tips, and explain how to improve at this very competitive game mode. So right off the bat, know your competition. Check out their loadouts, their classes, their armor. Make a mental note of what you're up against and it will give you an idea of what to expect and also limit the surprises. The main things I look for are what subclass are they using and what secondary do they have, as I feel those affect the way I play the most. Knowing what supers are in play is huge. Secondly, and this is perhaps the most important part of Trials, is communication. Talking with your teammates, calling out enemies where they and you are going is extremely important. You'll see me make a lot of plays later that I could not have done without my teammates telling me where the other team is and what they are doing. Also, knowing the map's vantage and choke points as well as having geographically specific callouts will improve your chances of success. So now that I know how the other team is set up and I'm talking with my teammates, it's time to start playing. Eliminate. First round is always a little tricky as you don't know where the enemy team is going to run. But on maps like the Burning Shrine that have a middle lane or a close vantage point where you can actually see the other team, it's best to get to that point quickly so that you can be the first to react and not be caught off guard. So here, as soon as I see red on the radar, I'm calling it out to my teammates and I'm prepping for someone to show in either the two locations that I know they can appear. In this case, I end up tagging all three with a firebolt, which is really convenient as now I can see where each member is retreating to because of the burn. In a case like this, you and your teammates want to push immediately because they are still weak. I'm hesitant because I know there are three of them and I'm by myself, so I end up waiting until my teammates are a little bit closer, and once we get one down, it's easy to make quick work of the second here, and then we can go up and pinch the third for an easy Enemy win for the first round. As a side note, you should always pick up as much special as you can, even if you're full, because that way you deny the other team of getting it. This next round we played pretty sloppily. We had an early death, and you'll see me stop my push up the stairs here just to go for the revive. If at any point you can get a safe revive, it is essential that you do it as quick as possible. A 3v3 will always be better than a 3v2, and in this case, it ended up even winning us the round. The enemy that flanked behind us could have been devastating had he not been taken care of quickly, and it's a pretty good strategy when somebody flanks to team up on them, either take two or three people and just take them out as quickly as possible. In Trials, it is really helpful, but not really necessary, to have a good sniper on your team. Snipers are fantastic for getting an early advantage, as you see we did here. I managed to get a collateral, two enemies with one shot, and after that, it's just really easy for you and your teammates to push the last guy and clean him up. Heavy round is always a little interesting, and it is mostly up to you and your teammates as to whether you want to be aggressive and push the other team's heavy ammo, or if you want to stay back and play it out with rockets and machine guns. I will say, however, should you choose to stay back, do not be passive. Be ready for the other team to rush you and try to take you by surprise. I am always in favor of being aggressive, and as you can see, we pushed from the side and from the middle, kind of splitting their attention and winning the round with relative ease. For this clip, I just want to talk about mobility. On almost all maps, there are certain areas that are really, really good to control that are kind of in the middle of the map. And so how do you control them? By getting there first. As you see here, I'm out in the middle of this platform with Sniper trained on their entrance several seconds before the other team. This gives me a huge advantage as I'm ready to snipe him as he comes around the corner. This allows me to get a quick kill and then we can run up, shut down the revive, and that ends the round pretty quickly. So next, I want to talk about how to come in clutch and win the round for your team when you are the last guardian standing. In this case, as you can see, I'm by myself in the middle and both my teammates die on top of the bridge. When it's a 1v3 and you're getting pinched like I was, your goal is to make every engagement a 1v1. So I quickly turn to engage the guy behind me, 
get the kill, and now I can move forward into a place where I'm comfortable sniping and where I'm ready to engage the second guy. I set my sights at head level and get a very easy snipe as he turns the corner. Now it's a 1v1 and I know the last one is camping the bodies. This grenade tells me exactly where he is, he's pretty far back which made it safe and easy to jump up to the other side and finish him off. In this clip, the other team was being super aggressive with Thorn and Shotgun, so I baited this guy to come around the corner, I managed to kill him, and now I'm in a very bad situation. I've taken a ton of damage and there's another enemy right around the corner. So it's time for me to get the heck out of there. Running is so important in winning a 1v3, you can hardly ever stay in the same place and manage to take on all three, especially when they're right behind each other. You can see I'm using my mobility to kind of skate around the map. I'm now on the opposite side of the map and it's back to a 3v1. This is where I'm going to pause it and say never be as dumb as these guys are. If you have a 3v1 in your favor with the bodies on the other side of the map as the last guy, it's a good idea to just patrol the bodies and not be aggressive. You have a huge advantage and you are gaining super energy for all three of you as compared to that one guy. If you are going to push, you need to be smart and have all three or at least two of you push together at the same time. He may be able to kill one of you, but as long as you're a team shooting, then it's nearly impossible for him to survive. This guy who pushes me solo is what wins me the round. I now have a 2v1 and with a good snipe, I can now lock down this front body with a grenade and the other body by sniping him off the revive. Then I have my super up and it's an easy finish with Fist of Havoc. Well that's going to be it for me today guys. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully the tips will help you get better. I hope you enjoyed the video and be looking for more Crucible coaching soon. Guardian down.